Hi, this is a celebration week. You're finishing your first essay. Some of you are already done. And so this will be an easy week for you with not a lot of homework. And some of you, this will just be a normal week as you continue to work on your essay, submitting it and the reflection letter on Wednesday. But here's what we're gonna talk about this week, fake news. This was a phrase that grew in spring 2017 in response to the election. But we've seen more fake news than we know what to do with. The election, coronavirus, it's everywhere. And so how do we stop sharing false news? How do we focus on what's true? How do we know what's true? And this is what we call digital literacy. Why digital and not information literacy? Because most of the information we access is online. I wanna show you some examples of false information that was spread online. I'm gonna give you old examples because I want you to find really good ones to share in the discussion board this week. So this is from fall of 2016. Comet Ping Pong Pizza is a pizza parlor near Washington, DC. And the rumor was that Hillary Clinton was conducting a sex trafficking rink in the basement of Comet Pizza. And she was trafficking children. This sounds terrible. And so a man drove across a few states with a gun and started shooting in Comet Pizza. The thing is, there was no sex trafficking going on in the basement. In fact, there wasn't even a basement. He was deceived by talk radio and rumors, and he accessed information in the internet that wasn't true, and he didn't know how to find the truth. Here's one I found a long, long time ago on Facebook. And I thought, oh my gosh, this has got to be a typo. Rachel Ray finds inspiration in cooking her family and her dog. Who does that? It seemed way too weird. And so I thought that can't possibly be true. And sure enough, it wasn't somebody had taken Photoshop and gotten rid of the commas. So what she finds inspiration is in cooking. She finds inspiration in her family and she finds inspiration in her dog. I enjoy all of those things too. It's important that we find out what's true, that we aren't sharing false information. This was about a hurricane that had brought sharks into the mall. False. This is actually a mall in Canada and somebody overlaid a picture of water, Photoshop. You might've seen this one go around last spring, how the quarantine brought dolphins into the Venice Canal, which is notoriously polluted. Not true. In fact, the coronavirus has generated all kinds of misinformation about how it spread, how to protect yourself. Is it even true or not? Is it the flu? Is it something else? Is it dangerous? Should we just all get it and have herd immunity? What's true and what's not true? How do we know? And this is the focus of our next unit. And this is the focus of our next essay. You're going to do a few readings, another short video, a discussion board post, and then you're done. Have a great week.